at the end of this video, you should know how to plot the low cost of a point P, which moves so that its distance from a, the circumference of two circles, center A and B, and radius 20 and 15 millimeters, respectively, is always in the ratio of two to three. So here we have a die. This is a the solution for that. Here we have one circle of radius 20 and the other circle of radius 15. So the, to plot the locus of the point P, which moves so that the distance from the circumference of both circles A and B is always in the ratio of two to three always in the ratio of two to three. It means therefore that whatever you add, whatever you add to this radius, the corresponding circumference must has the consistent radius of two to three. So here is a breakdown. For radius 20, R20, if we add 30 to the circumference, add 30, that would give us 50. So give us so from here, from center A, we would draw an arc of radius 50. The corresponding, corresponding arc for that would, would be radius 15 plus 30 multiplied by three over two of the amount that we add to the, to the radius. So in this case, we add the, the total 15 plus, 90 divided by 2 is 45, give us a total of 55. So we would scribe an arc from radio from a center B to correspond to the radius 50. And in like manner, we would go down to radius 2 to, to the second one, radius 20 again. When we add a, add a 40 to that radius, we get a total of 60. The corresponding value from the second circle is radius 15 plus one and a half times that 40, which would give us a total of 75. So again, from point B, we would scrub an arc of radius 75 to blend or to, or to cut the corresponding radius. And in like manner, we pretty much go through and plot all of those points. To establish where the ratio lies, we would need to divide the space between both centers. It's very important. And it's important to note that the, knowing this, this point, we can establish a minimum radius that we have to use. So in this case, we would we, an arc would not be able to screw, would not be able to scribe an arc to cut each other with a radius less than this distance. So that's very important to note. Uh, it's important to note also that um, the ratio from here to that side is from from A to the corresponding the ratio ratio line here. Here is a smaller portion. Here is two and there is three. So that's the main reason why we invert, we invert the ratio here as this side is larger. Side B is larger. So we use, we, we invert two to three to three over five. So those are factors that we must take in, into consideration. So let me recap how to do this. The first thing to do is to would be to establish your center lines. Then we would draw corresponding circles at 80 millimeters apart. Um, the next step would be to calculate, to establish our ratio. Two to three is five. So we would divide the space between both circles into five equal parts to establish the ratio here, where the ratio is, ratio falls on this line. After we have done that, the next step is to calculate, is to calculate this. So radius, this radius, 
20, we can add some uh, suitable value here, corresponding value here. So there is no there is no fixed value that we can, we can start with or, or should start with. The only thing though is that the value that we start with must be a value that is more than the distance from this point to that point. That's important. If that is not adequate, they will not be able to blend. So that's all. So that's another factor that we must consider when we're drawing this. So that's pretty much that for this. Uh, please look out for the AutoCAD application for this. Uh, we'll be drawing this actually in AutoCAD. So please look out for that. Of course, I would like you guys to like and subscribe. I think it's time for me to reach a thousand subscribers now. All right.